Today we are going to learn the second emphasis of the general introduction to Jing Luo and arc points. The twelve regnum meridians. I will introduce them from four outlines. First, what are the twelve regnum meridians? In other words, the concept of the twelve regnum meridians. Second, the nomenclature. Third, the rules of distribution. Fourth, the characteristics. Let's begin the first part. The concept of the twelve regnum meridians. The twelve regnum meridians are the major trunks of the Jingluo system, containing three yin meridians of hand, three yang meridians of hand, three yang meridians of foot, and three yin meridians of foot. The function of the twelve regnum meridians is to collect the junk organs, run qi and blood, soak and nourish the whole body. So it is the most significant part of the meridian system. Second, the nomenclature of the twelve regnum meridians. Knowing the rules of nomenclature will help us better understand the twelve regnum meridians. The nomenclature of the twelve regnum meridians is based on the three factors: hand or foot, yin or yang, and zhang or full organ. First, hand or foot. In consideration of the causes, traveling along hands or feet, they were named meridian of hand, or what meridian of foot. In other words. The regnum meridians which travel around upper limbs were named what the meridians of hand, like the small intensity meridian of hand tai yang, and the long meridian of hand tai yin. The regnum meridians which travel along lower limbs were named what the meridians of foot, like the spleen meridian of foot tai yin. Second, yin or yang. According to the rules, that the zhang belongs to yin, the fu belongs to yang, the inner areas belong to yin, and the outer areas belong to yang. The meridians that pertain to the zhang organs are called yin meridians, which are mainly distributed on the median aspect of the fu limbs. The meridians that pertain to the fu organs. Are yang meridians, which mainly travel along the lateral aspect of the limbs. Correspondingly, we could estimate the yin and yang according to the characteristics and connections. Third, zhang or fu. The twelve regnum meridians pertain to the twelve zhang or fu. Correspondingly, when they connect originally. Zhang or full organs, we say pertain to. When they connect the other zhang or full organs, we say communicate. That is the difference between the interior and exterior relationship. Knowing the rules of the nomenclature according to hand or foot, yin or yang, and zhang or full organs. Will help us better understand the characteristics of the twelve regnum meridians. Then, what about rules of distribution of the twelve regnum meridians? First, the distribution pattern on the body surface. It can be summed up in three sentences. The first sentence is: the yin meridians are distributed on the median aspect of the four limbs. The thorax and abdomen. As we learned that the inner areas, chest and abdomen belong to yin, so yin meridians are distributed on these places. The yang meridians travel along the lateral aspect of the limbs, the head and trunks. As the lateral aspect of the limbs, head and face belong to yang, so yang meridians. Are distributed on these places. It indicated rule of the position and order, which is, Tai Yin meridians travel 
through the arterial aspect. Zhuoying meridians drive through the middle aspect. Shaoying meridians drive through the posterior aspect. Yangming meridians drive through the anterior aspect. Shaoyang meridians drive through the middle aspect. Taiyang meridians drive through the posterior aspect. This pattern of the distribution is mainly based on the amount of yin and yang. The amount of yin and yang can be divided into three degrees of yin and three degrees of yang. Three degrees of yin are taiyin, zhuoying, and shaoying. Three degrees of yang are yangming, shaoyang, and taiyang. All of them form a connection and an internal and external relationship. The distribution of yang meridians can be more detailed when the handful yang meridians travel along the lateral aspect of the limbs. They go with the rules that yang meridians travel through the anterior aspect, shao yang meridians travel through the middle aspect, and tai yang meridians travel through the posterior aspect. It will be the same when the handful yang meridians travel along the head, face. And trunk. For instance, when traveling along the lateral aspect of the upper limbs, the hand yami meridians drive through the anterior aspect. The hand sao yami meridians drive through the middle aspect. The hand tai yami meridians drive through the posterior aspect. The picture shows the rules of distribution of the yang meridians. Also, the hand foot in meridians. Have their own patterns. When the three foot in meridians drive along the median aspect of the limbs, they go with the rules that tai meridians drive through the anterior aspect, zhui meridians drive through the middle aspect, shao yin meridians drive through the posterior aspect. But the trend changes when the yin meridians drive downwards from the eight chun above. The prominence of the lateral meridians. It becomes Zhuoying meridians drive through the anterior aspect, Taiyin meridians drive through the meridian aspect, Shaoyin meridians drive through the posterior aspect. We should pay attention to remember this special change. Let's see the distribution of the three hand in meridians. The long meridians of hand Taiyin drive through the anterior aspect. The procardial meridians of hand drawing drive through the mid aspect. The heart meridians of hand sawing drive through the posterior aspect. This is the distribution of the in meridian of hand. Above are the rules of the distribution of the twelve regular meridians on the body surface. Second, the rules of the pertaining and communicating relation between jaw and foot organs. Of the twelve regular meridians, the rules are also based on the characteristics of the causes. The lung has an exterior and interior relation with a large intensity. The procardium has an exterior and interior relation with the sanjiao. The heart has an exterior and interior relation with a small intensity. The spleen has an exterior and interior relation with the stomach. The liver has an exterior and interior relation with the gallbladder. The kidney has an exterior and interior relation with the urinary bladder. As a result of the pertaining and communicating relations among the twelve regular meridians, there are the exterior and interior and pertaining. And communicating relations between jaw and foot organs, it has been formed an exterior and interior relationship. In addition, jaw and foot organs and the twelve regular meridians have various connections. We have a very detailed table. For instance, the long meridians of hand tying pertains to the lung, and communicates with the large intensity, traveling through the guardia of stomach. And connects the throat. Thus, we can treat the indications in relevant areas with the long meridians of hand tying. 
everyone should know this table of the pertaining and communicating relations between jaw and full organs, and the twelve regular meridians very well. Besides, we have summarized some rules for study. First, the meridians that connect the jaw and full organs most is the kidney meridian. It connects kidney, bladder, liver, lung, and heart. We know that. The kidney being the origin of a congenital constitution, so the kidney is a crucial part of the human body and connects various meridians. Besides, there are several meridians related to the stomach, including the stomach meridian, the spleen meridian, the lung meridian, the small intestine meridian, and the liver meridian. As we know that the stomach is material basis. Of the acquired constitution and the treasure house of food stuff. Besides, there are five meridians related to the lung, including the lung meridian, the large intestine meridian, the heart meridians, and the kidney meridian and the liver meridian. The ancient literature said a large number of blood vessels converged in the lung, so that the lung has a lot of connections. And the four meridians related to the heart include the heart meridian, the small intestine meridian, the spleen meridian, and the kidney meridian. Thus, heart is also a very important vessel of human body. Additionally, according to the course and the distribution of the meridians, we need to know the meridians connect specific organs. First, there are six meridians reaching the eyes. Including the heart meridian, the small intestine meridian, the urobladder meridian, the sangiao meridian, the gallbladder meridian, and the liver meridian. All of these meridians can reach the eyes, so we can treat the indication of eyes with the points of these meridians. The two meridians reach in the tongue, the spleen meridians, and the kidney meridian. And we can see that both the spleen meridian and the kidney meridian can reach the tongue. Thus, these meridians can be taken into consideration when treating the lesions of the tongue. There are five meridians reaching the ear: the bladder meridian, the small intestine meridian, and the sangiao meridian, and the gallbladder meridian and the stomach meridian. Almost all the young meridians reach to the ear. The two meridians that reach the mouth, the large intestine meridian and the stomach meridian. The three meridians reach the nose, the large intestine meridian, the stomach meridian, and the small intestine meridian. These connections can provide theoretical basis for our selecting a point along meridians. Third, the order of the cyclical flow of the twelve regular meridians. The circulation of qi and blood in the twelfth meridian is a circular structure like the ring. The rules of this ring can be summed up in one sentence: the lung, large intestine, stomach, spleen, heart, small intestine, urine bladder, kidney, pericardium, sangiao, gallbladder, and liver. It originated from the lung meridian, terminates at the liver meridian, forms a closed loop circulation. It means that it restarts from the lung meridians as a recurrence. It's a circulation to keep qi and blood running within the meridians to maintain the health. Fourth, the rules of the course of the twelve regular meridians. It based on the original of the chapter. Li Shun Fei Shu of Lin Shu. It emphasized that three hand yin meridians travel from the chest to hands. The three hand yang meridians travel from hands to head. The three foot yang meridians travel from head to feet. The three foot yin meridians travel from feet to through legs and abdomen. So that the twelve leg meridians travel from the chest. To the hands, from the hands to the head, from the head to feet, 
and then from the feet back to the chest. Those the rules of the course. Fifth, the rules of the connection of the twelve regular meridians. How did the rules of the connection works best on the order of the cyclic flow? They can be summed up in three sentences. First, the interior and exterior meridians of Yin meridians and Yang meridians linked at extremity ends, like. The long meridians of hand tying drive to the hands, and its branch drive to the index finger, and link the large intestinal meridian of hand yang ming. Second, the homonymous yang meridians and yang meridians linked on the head and face, like the large intestinal meridian of hand yang ming drive from mouth to the nose, while the stomach meridians of foot yang ming. Ascent to link the large intestinal meridian of hand yang ming on head or face. Third, the connected yin meridians and yin meridians linked in the chest, like the spring meridians of foot tai yin link the heart meridian of hand sao yin in the chest. This is a transition pattern. In particularly, the extremities of the hand or foot yin and yang meridians of our coins. Which are very important to connect in and yang. This is the circulation of the order of the cyclic flow and the rules of the course of the twelve regular meridians. The long meridians of hand tying links the large intestinal meridians of hand yang ming at the index fingertip. The large intestinal meridians of hand yang ming links the stomach meridians of the foot yang ming next to the nose. The stomach meridian of foot yang ming links the spleen meridians of foot tai yin at the mid aspect to the foot big toe. The spleen meridians of foot tai yin links the heart meridians of hand sao yin in the chest. The heart meridians of hand sao yin links the small intestine meridians of hand tai yang at the tip of the little finger. The small intestine meridians of hand tai yang links blend meridians of foot tai yang. At inner canthus, the blend meridians of foot tai yang links the kidney meridians of foot sao yang at the tip of foot little toe. The kidney meridian of foot sao yin links the precordial meridian of hand zhe yin in the chest. The precordial meridians of hand zhe yin then links to the shan jiao meridians of hand sao yang at the tip of the ring finger. The shan jiao meridians of hand shao yang links to the gallbladder meridian of foot shao yang at the outer canthus. At last, it links the liver meridians of foot zhe yin at the outer end of the big toe. Well, the liver meridians of foot zhe yin goes back to link the long meridians of hand tai yin. So, this is a closed loop circulation of the order. Of the cyclic flow and the rules of the course of the twelve regular meridians. Six, the rules of the indication of the twelve regular meridians. The chapter Jing Mai of Ling Shu described the rule as, "Shi Dong disease is one of the meridian syndromes. Suo Shen disease is the summary of the ancient scholar under lesions at a superficial running cause." Of the meridians and the disease conditions of its underlying vessel, which would also be changed with the change of the meridians and vessels. We have to dig into the Shi Dong disease and the Suo Shen disease for a clinical application. Fourth, the main characteristics of the twelve regular meridians. There are five characteristics as shown below. First. There are six groups of meridians: has the yin, yang, exterior, interior, and pertaining and communication relations. There are six sets, and we'll call also that six pairs. Second, the meridians are directly related to the Zhang Fu organs, pertaining to Zhang organs and communicating the Fu organs, or pertaining to Fu organs. And communicating the Zhang organs. This is kind of pertaining and communicating relations. Third, 
the disease of these meridians have been recorded relatively complete. The record of diseases of the twelve regular meridians is very complete. From the chapter Jing Mai of Ling Shu, fourth, the twelve regular meridians have five element property. For example, the Long meridians and Han Tai Yin belongs to Yin. Fifth, all of the twelve regular meridians have their own arc points. The twelve regular meridians are indeed important components of the Jing Lu system of the human body. They are the trunks. So everyone must focus on learning the twelve regular meridians.